Ocarina of Wind, and, um, so, once you have that out, um, play it, and head to Hyrule Town once more, we are going to be going to Trilby Highlands, so, in the Trilby Highlands, uh, the cave where you met Tingle is the one where you're going to want to get to, so, like I said, I could have done this earlier, and I probably should have, but I didn't, and that's why I kind of felt stupid. Um, from there, you want to go um, the same way you went to Tingle. And, um, or the same way you went to Knuckle, I mean. His name's Knuckle, not Tingle. And then once you get up in the cave, just make your way through the way um, I did last time. So you want to head right, right away. And then you'll see there's a little area. Right up here, just carve out the top and you'll find it. Should be a blue kinstone piece, so fuse with them. And you'll make one more Goron up here at the uh, little Goron area. So you see there's a treasure chest there. Um I'm sure since it's blue it's just a just a kinstone piece. Um but uh like I said the ne you, you there's another spot for a Goron, but uh you need to beat the next dungeon because we need the item inside of it. So I'm not going to give away what the item is, but you need it. So, anyways, after that's done, head out of the cave. And now we are going to make our way to the next dungeon. Um, one thing that you want to do before heading over there, um, if you haven't, when you go to Hyrule Town, uh, when you go to Hyrule Town, make sure you fuse kinstones with the guy on the yellow roof, and then do that little quest. Um, if you don't know what it is, revert to last chapter. Otherwise, just head up in a north Hyrule field, head north, and then um, you want to head north and east. And up there, you'll find another place where you can bomb, so bomb it. And then after you bomb it, you'll be in Vale Falls. So you see a heart piece there? Just jump into the water and go and grab the heart piece. So that is heart piece number 34. So, after that, um, you're at the source of the flow, which is the waterfall. So, if you weren't able to figure that out before, there you go. Fuse kinstones with the little wall there, and um, it'll say it's the source of the flow, and it'll open up for you. So, you want to watch out also for the little pea hats that are kind of annoying. Um, but, uh, once you're up going to the cave, it'll be dark, so use your flame lantern, and, um, there'll be keys in here and holes, so watch out for them. Um, After you've killed all the keys, you can head up. You don't need to kill, kill the keys, but uh, then you'll see a bubble in here. So the bubbles can get kind of annoying. Just use your gust jar to suck it up. It makes it much easier. And you'll see a little area between two rocks. We can actually bomb this area, so do so. Use the remote bombs there, or if you have regu if you prefer regular bombs. And then you can slash the pots around here and open up the chest for 50 mysterious shells. Then, um, just head back down as there's nothing else you can do. If you head up the stairs, you'll see there's nothing else. So, you can break the pots for more bombs, and then head down. Um, and here there'll be a red choo-choo covered with, uh, a rock thing. If you have the rock breaker technique, it just takes two, hit two hits then instead of one. And then head up, and you'll see another wind crest location. So... I was looking for those little turtles before I went and got it, so but make sure you mark this place on your map. Um 
because we'll be coming back here a couple times for a couple different quests. Um, however, it's not going to be too popular of a location. I think we travel the Hyrule Town probably the most, so it's probably the most important one on your map. That one and the one at Lake Hylia. Then in here you'll see those little guys with the gust jar. I was just being smart and then I got hit. So I didn't really want to use my uh, gust jar. I didn't want to pull it out. I was being lazy. So I just killed them that way. So once you get rid of all of the enemies in here, place a bomb on the bottom of a wall. And then uh, blow it up. After that, you can kill the keys in here, grab the treasure chest for uh, 50 more mysterious shells. And this is why we wanted to um, get rid of basically all of our mysterious shells. Um, it's also good to have lots of rupees because you can actually buy mysterious shells at the shop in uh, in Hyrule Town. So. See there, I got eaten by the rupee like. And then I killed him. So. After that, um, you can grab the rupees there, head back up, and then head up the stairs to the. Uh, to the right. In your slash pots, there's tons of keys. Uh, these spike head things that are annoying. So get rid of all of them, and then you can grab the treasure chest uh, for 100 rupees. After that, you can just head down on the right side. Make sure it's the right side, or you won't be going anywhere. So up here, you'll see the top of looks like a Goron, and it is, but that's part of a later quest that you can only do after the game is completed. So. You can do that, and then you're going to want to um, head up into the big vortex. So, this is Cloud Tops, and it may seem like if you fall down, you'll fall back to Hyrule, but you won't. So, don't worry about that. There's only one place where you'll come back to Hyrule if you fall down, and that's that little hole where you just came up from. So, um, you'll see this lady here, and they need to get back to the little cloud house or whatever it is. So, um,. The theme of this is kind of kinstones, the theme of this place. So if you see anyone fuse kinstones with them, because it'll probably do something good. When I fuse kinstones here, it created a uh, golden tektite, which I'm not really sure exactly what these things give you. I think it's just a lot of rupees or maybe um, a good kinstone piece if you kill them, but they're a little bit harder to defeat so and there's three different ones you can get by fusing kinstones so um... if you talk to the other one she'll say to fuse kinstones with the little things next to you and fuse kinstone make sure you fuse kinstones with her as well So, um... this one created a little hole in the waterfall since it's red i'm pretty sure we'll be revisiting it And then you can head up the vortex after that. 